The secret scammer capital in Florida. Oh boy. For a few months, I've been tracking down a group of scammers. And <gasps> everything that I've found has pointed me back to this one town. Florida, the root right of all here, evil. A small city. Well, it's a shipping scam that's targeting South Florida businesses and online sellers across the country. It's becoming Ooh. notorious. If you see Dora in Florida on the Andrews thing twice, you know, our tours don't think of the song. Of course. <laughs> Look, Florida's not that bad. It's not. We've all gotten calls like this. Hey, it's Sarah. I'm just calling you from Tax Help Center. I'm calling from Activate Center. Hey, it's Steven from the Tax Experts. And texts. Hello, I'm here to contact you about your Smugglana subscription. You have to upgrade it to a tariff free sub right now. Right now! Like this. <laughs> hey, my Scams cute are friend, how Our are you? The tricks that we you know what that this reminds me of? Art scammers in Discord that we ban like at least five times a day. Hey, my cute friend, how are you doing? We've all seen before. Please call Please back. Call back. Call me back. The playbook is written by organized groups, often <gasps> operating out of Hot hidden woman. headquarters. I want to tell you about a journey I've been taking. It started <gasps> many months ago when an old friend reached out to me and told me that he was a target. His Facebook Marketplace listing got an offer, and then two, what? five, ten. As these offers kept pouring in, he noticed an unmistakable trend. Every offer came from Do Doral, Florida. Him! Oh, they're all from Doral, Florida. <gasps> what? Wait, 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 wait. No. And they're all women, and they're hot. Yo, Bear King, thank you so much. No, pause. Doral, Florida. What do you mean, like? They're like all these people hot are women. Ship. Women aren't real. That's why he should have been suspicious in the first place. The, the things to Doral, Florida. So they're wanting to ship it in Doral, Florida, and they're. That's not how it's pronounced. He just said it. I said Doral. Count. It's saying that they live Doral. in Doral, Florida. All of these people are just Doral. What? Doral. <sighs> This is a story about bait, placing it carefully to become the perfect victim. It's the story about a town with hundreds, maybe even thousands of the same oh my boilerplate God. warehouses. We're like a Patriot dish. For the past six months, I've been documenting my whole journey, interviewing experts, setting traps, and getting scammed. All of this to try to answer one question. What's happening in Doral? Okay, the round chat. I've kind of come into this and the I've just round. been like, something is off. Looking in your eyes now, I can see all you do. <laughs> they put little cookies in there for the scammers. They're so nice. Do is pull me down. You're in the minds of some of history's greatest and most famous scammers. I need to be able to think like a scammer. Man, what a. <laughs> Oh. Did he contact Jim Browning? That would be awesome. I love that guy. Oh, God. And what a Boga. Okay, God. Um. Love is long gone on the side. I'm trapped alone in my empty sky. Sellers are complaining in online forums. Plenty fraudulent orders. And all wow. of them were shipped to Doral. Dozens of us have got the same fraudulent order. Where do you start when looking into mm. something like this? There's no one that I can just email and ask. I'm not a financial crimes expert. I'm not even a scam baiter, but they came for my friend Jimmy. I did notice something different about the Doral scam. Look at this. Besides this one, all the scams I've ever encountered have all worked the same way. You, the victim, fall for some lie. In the scam world, they call these confidence tricks. As a result, Ah, I'm a Nigerian prince. That's old as- uh, That is so old. I kind of want to look up how old the Nigerian prince scam is. How old is Nigerian prince scam? Uh, it says it's been around for 15 years. No, it's got to be older than that since the dawn of email. So yeah, it's been around for like decades. 
Wow. You're convinced to send money to the scammer. This can be US dollars, euros, pounds, crypto, whatever. But one thing stays the same, currency. It's always currency, but not with the Doral scam. The scammer reaches out to you. You are selling a product. It might be that old TV. It might be that laptop that you don't use anymore. And then they still use a confidence trick. It disguises itself as a security feature. The scammer makes an offer on whatever you're selling. PayPal acts as an intermediary. They hold the funds until both sides fulfill their obligations. Uh -huh. All you need to do is submit the package's tracking number. You send the package. The swindler then blocks you. That's when you realize that email didn't come from PayPal. <laughs> Support at payment update email dot info. <laughs> oh, jeez. Classic. The Doral oh, scam, match. you don't send money. You send goods. Goods that have to be resold. It's an extra step. It increases their chances of getting caught with a stolen, tangible item. Why would they go through this extra step? Turns out it's not Doral, it's Doral. Named after Doral. a guy named Al and his wife, Doris. It's really cute, ladies. No, really? That is so cute, Doris. Oh, chat, would you want to be named after a town? That'd be cute. If he wanted to, he would. Incorporated just 20 years ago, right outside Miami, the city is broken down into 15 sectors. Six are residential, seven are industrial. The remaining two sectors at the heart of the city are a confusing puzzle piece. The Pentagon Southern Command is located right here. Wait, the feds! Chat the feds! And across the street is the Trump National Golf Course. Overnight, it has oh, become Jesus. the world's most oh, famous hotel, yeah. the Trump National Doral. This town has surveillance <gasps> written Doral. all over. Why would a criminal group running a massive scam operation it's a CIA choose scam. Doral? It doesn't make any sense. This is my. The feds are doing it. I'm telling you right now. My friend Hyatt. She usually makes different types of videos. Let's talk about gator safety. But she said she was willing to do something a little bit more risky. There's one warehouse that my friend Jimmy, the guy that tried to scam him, sent him the address to. Okay. I specifically want you to go to that one. Um, I'm used to this kind of stuff. I'm used to like putting the car where it shouldn't be. All right, we are heading to Doral. Doral! Why would you choose this place? This is actually just a bunch of warehouses. Mm. Lots mm. of shipping. We are here. It looks like there's a lot of like couriers and logistics going on right here. I just saw another logistics truck going by over there. Huh. You're you're right in front of the business right now, it looks like, right? Yeah, Sankar International Corp. Global freight shipping and forwarding at its best. And then they have drop off over hmm. here. My package forwarder. Package forwarder. It's just a business. These businesses, known as freight forwarders, take an incoming package, have a very strict privacy policy, and then ah, send the package off. So they can't like back trace it off uh -huh, to where it's really uh -huh. going anywhere sense. in the world so Doral is yeah, just they where it. the money gets cleaned it seems that these go to private shipment companies uh I just think the bigger picture and like where it goes and where it stops, even if I send it to Florida, what happens after that? What are they doing with it? That's gonna be tough. They got their system figured out. I found this website where victims of scams upload the details on how they got scammed. I scraped that website Ooh. and added it to a map. These are all the documented warehouses that scammers use in Doral. Why didn't they do something about this, man? Holy crap! So many of the reviews are exactly what you say. They use fake PayPal emails to lure you to sell your items. 
I lost my laptop. They send you messages on eBay to buy your items and they send fake PayPal emails to scam you for money. Oh my god. The cops How are in on it. Ideally, like you don't That's want stupid. that bad PR around you. A lot of these places I've seen say that they have a zero tolerance policy for scams, and so they're cracking down on it, meaning that people have to jump ship to the next freight forwarder. Why there's so many freight forwarders here is that if you look at Miami International Airport right here, oh. the entrance into the freight and cargo terminal is literally <laughs> Doral. Oh, that. Well, that's smart. Florida. There are dirty cops. I understand, but like every single one in the Ralph, Florida, I don't know. I don't buy it. I feel There's like people just don't know about it. Somewhere, anywhere that's playing puppeteer, whoever or whatever they are, I need to know. All right, dude. All right, I got some ideas to create a mousetrap. I got some fucking ideas. Mouse! When smuggle you told a hug, me smuggle this, a you hug. Sent me some screenshots of a fake PayPal receipt. I created a burner email, and since I'm looking for evidence that's hard to find and is virtually non existent at this moment, I chose my name carefully. Pretending to be a previous victim that went dark. I said, I'm sorry, I'm just now getting around to this. I have the camera all boxed up and ready to go. I can send the tracking number later today once I get the $3,300 payment. <gasps> the bait. PayPal. They responded. Three minutes later, I send him my PayPal link. Three minutes later, this guy's on the pulse. And like clockwork, a fake receipt showed up in my spam folder. Yeah, he's probably like this freaking idiot. But what he doesn't know is that link, before sending him to my PayPal account, scraped all of his device information, his IP address, and his location. So- Hmm, I'm gonna, I have some guesses as to where that could possibly be, but I don't know. It could also be in the US, you never know, Chad. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <gasps> the Nigerian print scam is real. Oh my God, we Are got duped. After the tone, Lagos, Nigeria. Hey, hello. He goes by the name Faith. I'm uh, sending off a camera lens is from Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, yeah, you got the right number. I've been waiting for you to call me forever. And every day, I'm going to call him. I'm gonna earn his trust. You sound like a very nice guy. No. Oh. oh, this guy's a Rizzler. He's got some Rizz. Um, you mean it? And I'm gonna learn everything that I can. I'm not gonna stop until I find this guy. He's wow. trying to steal over $3,000 from me, many more from Jimmy, and multitudes more from many other innocent victims. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing pretty good, what's going on? Just return your call here, my friend. I'm going to map out his scam and put it on display for the world to see. And most of that all- That is crazy, dude. I want him to know that he's been found. All right, I'm okay. All right. Yeah, bye. See ya. Great. I love this guy. He did the chiropractic um, video too. It's so cool. We got him online. He's like a real journalist, you know? <laughs> I tracked Faith's location using an IP scraper. I only know that he's in this circle. I don't know where he is or mm. where his exact headquarters might be. My capabilities for hunting his operation down are inhibited by one thing. I don't know his real name. But if I did, I could take that and go to one of many different data broker companies and pay a small fee for his information. To be clear, I'm not cool with this industry. There's companies out there that are collecting the same data on you no, Ed, and me Ed, and selling it. They can get this information from a variety of sources, government ah! records like your voter registration, birth certificate, court documents, also your social media <clears throat> accounts, like the posts you've made, the websites you've visited, the quizzes that you've taken. They take all of this, they bundle it together, and then they sell it. So I use a tool called Delete Me. They're also sponsoring this portion of today's video. They go through the strenuous steps of going to hundreds of different data broker websites to get my data taken down. Just in the month of May, Delete Me searched over 8,000 different listings for my data. They found it on 10 different websites 
and then they got it removed on my behalf. Delete Me has graciously sponsored this portion of today's video, <laughs> and they're offering a 20% discount to anyone that clicks the link in the description. Join deleteme.com slash chuppel20, C-H-U-P-P-L 20, or you can use code CHUPEL20 at checkout. So if you're someone that doesn't like the idea of corporations selling your personally identifiable information for financial gain, and you see the potential risks of the data economy, click the link in the description. You'll get 20% off at? and you'll get your first report back in seven at? days. Thank you get to Delete Me for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm really genuinely impressed with what you do. <laughs> back to the story. Yay! How's the weather over there in Florida right now? <laughs> Well, it's, it's been chilly and all that. Chilly over there. Not Dang. <laughs> That's a classic. Putting him on the spot. Hey, what time is it over in Florida? I'm from Wisconsin. I'm sorry. Okay. It's 92. <laughs> it's 92 <laughs> it's degrees. 92 and mostly sunny. Have you been playing into this? Like, do you talk to these people after you realize the scam? So most people will block you. I can't have that happen. I need to stay in touch with our friend from Nigeria. I can't have him blocking me. Problem is getting cut off is part of the scam, the foundation of it. Mm -hmm. So why not have fun with this? Let's try to use his own techniques against him. Ooh. Hey, hello, hello, hello. My guy, how's it going? Hello, hello, Jack. It's going good, man. It's going good. I can't wait to hear about what, the, what this thing is that you've uncovered. This is my friend James. He publishes documentaries on YouTube where he investigates large-scale swindlers and their techniques. No doubt about it, he's the guy to ask. There's a real... It's the Korean guy, bro. It's the Korean guy. He's here! Really narrow bottleneck there. He's gonna feel a lot of fear and want to run away once he knows that people are onto him. Block my number and all these things. Before that happens, I want to throw his techniques at him so that he doesn't backtrack really hard. Kind of what I'm hoping to do here is pick your brain. You're in the minds of some of history's greatest and most famous scammers. I need to be able to think mm. like a scammer. Man, what a <laughs> oh god, what a roller coaster. Okay, God. Um, in a lot of the things that I've uh, looked into, there is always this kind of sunk cost fallacy. The feeling that you've spent so much time and energy into something, even if you start to feel like something is wrong, you almost do the work yourself to believe that this is is happening and this is the case. Mm -hmm. Immediately what that's doing is it's putting you uh, in a very Ow. emotional state um, with the goal of pretty much stopping you from being rational. Okay. Here's the plan. The sting. Tell Faith that I'm selling an expensive camera. We need the tracking number for the camera. That I don't actually have. I'll tell Faith that I have an old lens for the camera and that I'd be happy to include it for the same price. But I'm gonna ship the lens and the camera separately. And I need a tracking number for the lens and a tracking number for the camera too. Ooh. I'll put a GPS tracker inside the package. Throw some cookies Thank in. Thank you. Aww, what a nice guy for dropping the scammer a cookie. You don't really know why I'm doing that. Not only that, but I'll reach out to a reporter on the ground in Nigeria what to nice follow guy. this package wherever it goes. Have you worked on stories like this in the past? Yes, I, I have. And once the package is moving, we know oh, this package is moving. That means this car is the person. And we have to drive and follow. All the way to their headquarters. There is always this kind of sunk cost fallacy. All the while, me and the scammer stay in touch because what he really wants ah, is the camera. That's smart. The camera that doesn't exist. After setting up a custom Python script to log the exact latitude and longitude of this GPS tracker over time, just in case any movement happens while I'm asleep or away from my computer, I sent the it snake off. snake code, chat, Python. East mm. Coast, South Florida. United Kingdom, and then it stopped at the airport in Lagos, Nigeria. You might think they're a bit of a joke. Well, they're not. I might be in over my head. Those get-rich-quick schemes, the Nigerian scams, are- I love this guy. 60 Minutes Australia has been around for so long. His voice is like... ASMR. Big business. Nigerian Big criminal business. enterprises make large swaths of money online through fraud, and they are really dangerous. A vicious international racket run by serious gangsters. Rackets. They don't play Racket. around. 
What still doesn't make sense to me about Doral is why aren't they swindling for money? Why are they swindling for physical goods? Why the because people are more cautious about giving away money nowadays, at least like even the most basic boomers kind of understand not to just hand out money. Items is like more acceptable, I feel like, and it's more even though it's more dangerous, it's also like. How do I say it? It's more dangerous and it's easier to get caught, but it's also like more, the volume is way higher extra step they have to go and sell yeah. this and they're at higher risk of getting caught by people like me tracking the packages mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense am i the one walking into a setup yeah my name is ben and i uh, created a youtube channel about no but i don't agree we're gonna bank you have no idea how stupid people can get no you're you're us understanding i'm not saying that People don't get scammed. I'm saying this is a lot easier. The volume is higher. It's a higher volume than even the stupid people that get scammed and you have to like help them in a bank. I totally get what you're saying. I'm saying that the volume's way higher. It's more acceptable to hand over goods for money rather than straight up transferring stuff. Six or seven years ago called Pleasant Green. So I just started interacting with the scammers, trying to see what they do and how they do it. And then just put myself into the scam and just go as far down these rabbit holes as I could go. Ben is the real expert. Mm. There's no one better to ask. I would say that the majority ben. of online fraud that we're seeing today is overseas. It's predominantly in India and Nigeria financial institutions have been hit with so many strong. lawsuits because of all the fraud going on that they make it so hard to send money overseas. Just yep. Yep, the volume's lower. It still happens, but the oh man, the pause, not the pause. I'm sorry. Especially to countries where fraud is is high, <laughs> India and Nigeria. That was not a good pause. That was strong. What I was trying to say is the volume. Like I said, it's a lot harder to send overseas. Like, ask me how I know. I have sent money overseas and not through PayPal, like through an actual transfer. It's a lot harder to get that stuff done now yeah. than before. They were forced to pivot. So yeah, so now scammers have had to get very, very creative with how they get that money. I think that it's safe to assume we're going to be seeing this scam more and more. <laughs> I gotta find this guy. It's been here for about a week now, and it's not moving. The days came and went, and That's I started to realize that Faith is likely onto me. Not only is the bag in Lagos, but also, he might be onto me. We're still in discussion about this camera. He's like, where's the tracking number? Where's the tracking number? Fuck you, there's no way you won't get a receipt after you sent a package. You're a fucking liar. Add in 70 seconds. Okay, just tell me what it is. Hey, hello. Hey, Faith, how's it going? Well, it's going good. So, when you give me the tracking number... Uh... When the package arrived at your house in Florida, they said that there was no one at the facility that would sign for it, so they had to reject the package. Uh, okay. But we what, what to, Faith, um, what's the deal with the facility? What does that mean? I don't know what they mean by that. Probably they think uh, they are talking about where I live or something. They made it sound like it was so, um, oh, like a warehouse. He knew something was wrong. He was totally on to me until- hey, I bet you this guy is sussy though. I mean, he's, his entire life and his livelihood is based off of scamming. He's very paranoid. I put him on the stand. Have you looked at the lens? I, it's, I was so sad to get rid of it. It's in really great quality. It's, it looks really nice. I like it. The next day, I knew that it worked. <gasps> <Time to move. gasps> oh shit. He's fucked. No way! I think that when your guy gets that camera lens, he's probably gonna, you know, maybe go down to the market, probably go pawn it off to a cyber cafe and probably make a lot less than it's worth. But it's okay. something. He's in there. I mean, right now he's in there. He just shot me a text. He said, 
<gasps> Tell me what the problem is. The problem is you send a different lens and the lens you say you're going to say. Why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? He thought it would be worth more money. I don't know what else to say. Scam. Or got scammed. Also, what's the deal? You, you haven't you haven't said anything about the cookies I put in there for you, man. Cookies. <laughs> I put cookies in the bag for you. Man, this guy is so mean to him. This guy gave him cookies and he's not even happy about it. Didn't you say, oh, they were tasty? This guy has no soul. He hung up on him. This guy's a dick. Chad, if I was a scammer and I got sent cookies, I'd be like, oh man, thanks. What, when, hello. Ridiculous. Hey, we must have cut out. What's up? Okay. What's going on? You're I not... get to you, you seem to be acting different than usual. I, I don't even get the camera yet. The camera I paid for. Well, the money hasn't gone through. Yeah, you need to send a tracking number to pay for. I, I think you know that. It's been more than two weeks and we're still on this transaction. It doesn't make sense to me. A lot of things I'm confused about too. Why haven't sent you? I sent you cookies. You didn't even say thanks for the cookies I put in the bag, man. No, what do you I'm mean? I sent it as a thank you. You got it wrong. Oh my god. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? A thank you would have been nice. Yeah, I agree. Free cookies. Free. I didn't have to do that. Yeah. What is it? The guy. I sent it to me. <gasps> He found the air tag in the bag and he threw it away. Oh. He's pissed. I knew he would find it. Son of a bitch. Man. He was supposed to find it. Wait! It was bait? Yeah, he faked it. He put it in there. Yo, that's smart. You son of a bitch! That is smart. Send me the location for the next spot. Let me know because I'm always I'm already out. I thought him putting the air tag there was really stupid. So he's smarter than I Doral, thought. Doral, Florida, mm -hmm. is no stranger to conspiracies. Though oh, the yeah? city is only 20 years old, there's countless cases of hidden secrets. An export company that was laundering over a hundred million dollars. Venezuelan That's elites crazy. secretly running shell companies. A security firm that hired mercenaries and successfully assassinated the sitting president of Haiti. These warehouses have stories to tell, but the real crimes don't happen here. Doral, Florida isn't a hotbed for criminal masterminds. It's a transient hub a non-place where illicit activities briefly pass through. I've found that a lot of times it's just, it's just kids. It's just That's one insane. or two kids working on their own. It's just kind of the culture over there. It's just that when, when these young men are just growing up and they're, they're, they're hustling. Yeah, it's definitely a cultural thing. Yeah. They're leaving school and they're hustle, just wondering hustle, what hustle. they're going to do for their, for the rest of their life. They just kind of think, well, I guess I'll go into scamming because everybody else my age does it. And so it's just these practices and things that they kind of just share with each other. They're all part of these telegram groups and Facebook groups where they share secrets and where they, <laughs> Um, you know, sell email lists to each other. But really, I think that most of them are just kind of working on their own or in groups of twos or three, not much more than that. Ben hit the nail on the head. Nigerian crime groups do exist, but in recent years, the FBI has started cracking down more and more on petty cybercrime. According to the FBI, these are just some of the defendants involved in what they describe as the largest online fraud scheme in the country I like that, that, that had guy worldwide had a Texas implications, shirt on. making it much harder to hide as a unified crime group. But those criminal groups created a new culture. Many youths in Nigeria view them similarly to like the Andrew Tates or the Gary <laughs> Vs of the world. <laughs> Hustle, make money, yep. and show it off. Many young people admired them and eventually followed in their footsteps. Over time, a system of organized crime was replaced with a new system. A few friends teaming up to make a quick buck, sharing their strategies with other groups of friends. It builds off itself, creating a massive, decentralized network. There's no leader, 
there's no headquarters and there's no paper trail and if this and it's hard to pinpoint a leader because if you cut off the snake's head it'll die but this one doesn't have one that's kind of smart this group gets caught yeah it doesn't hurt the collective the others likely don't even they notice keep, that they're gone they keep going man to be honest i feel some complicated emotions as to what to do next if i turn a this isn't a snake it's a hydra yeah but hydras don't well i mean yeah i guess one will just replace them if you kill them off yeah i guess it is a hydra then yeah. he's gonna do yeah. time in a prison system that's notoriously dangerous and unlivable when or if he gets out he won't have any opportunities burying him deeper and deeper into a reliance on petty cybercrime mm -hmm. and he's just a kid a kid who had terrible role models in a broken economy. Circumstances. He thinks it's probably better money that he could have been making doing anything else over there in Nigeria. It's it's hard to make a living over there. I can't imagine what it's like to live in an economy like that. It's it's the population is just huge. The government is corrupt in many ways, so they don't have better opportunities, and so they just kind of follow the the path that their friends take, and they go into and the path of least resistance too. There's not a lot of like. You know, like if you, they don't punish them, man, they don't. Yeah. Scamming, and it's sad and unfortunate, but um, it's it's what they do. But what he's doing is wrong, and he needs to know it. I called his freight forwarder, let them know what he was doing, and they canceled his account. Many people don't feel bad about their lies. To them, they're invincible. But when they get caught, the stress, anxiety, and realization kicks in. Our actions have repercussions and we can't hide from them. Not even in a discreet warehouse in South Florida, a world away. Wow. Well, 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 this isn't the consequences of my actions. Please tell me you find out where it is, man. So right now, where's the lens? Is the camera lens here? Yeah, the camera lens is in that building that you're in front of right now. <laughs> the camera lens is here. What name did he say is his own name? Faith. Faith, yes. Okay. Um, I know there's a gate, man. I'm just going to knock the gate. Just ask for that name. All right, so I'm going in. I'm yeah, it's a pretty nice place. building in the middle Nigerian of Nigeria. Yeah. His lies caught up to him. I've knocked at the gate. Nobody came to respond to my knock. The compound looks very quiet, but nobody came to answer the gate. I had been spending months late night after late night, trying to hunt down the root hey, of this Mike, online scam. Friend. And here I am on the phone with a reporter standing right outside the tiny scam headquarters in a luxury apartment in a tiny corner of Lagos, Nigeria. What do I do? I'll let my personal beef speak for itself. What do you mean? Where's you should my have said cookies? thank you for the cookies. Ronald wants his cookies back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got more videos coming soon, but these things take time. This doesn't fit into the narrative of the video, but the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is dire. The G word that I can't say on this platform continues on. You'll find some resources in the description if you want to learn more, but we're also donation matching, basically doubling whatever you donate. Damn. If you use the link down below. That was a good video. Thanks for chat. watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yay! Good video. Uh oh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.